Well, listen up all you avid readers and book enthusiasts. Laurel Park Place in Livonia is the place to be for the next week. That's because Bookstock is back. It's the area's largest used book and media sale, and it's been on hold for two years now due to COVID. Here to tell us all about what's new this year and how the proceeds will benefit literacy programs right here in Metro Detroit are Neil Rubin, the event's honorary chair and presenting sponsor, Mike Morse. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Good morning, Jennifer. Love to be here. So first off, how does it feel to have this huge community back after that two year hiatus? You know, it's great. I mean, this is we love people who love books and to see the rush when the doors open for the pre-sale at 815. It's really heartening. I mean, we didn't want people to forget us and clearly they haven't. Absolutely. And let's talk about the stock now. I know that it's in the thousands. About how many books do you have, Neil? Not an exact number. I'm sure that would be impossible. <laughs> More than 300,000. Wow. It's probably closer to 400,000, but you know, at this point, who's counting? And sure. the great thing about that is there's way more than we can display at any one time. So there's new merchandise being brought out every day to sale. And Mike, this, this question's for you. This money goes to such an important cause, literacy. Why for you as a local business leader, was it important for you to get involved and talk to us about where this money is going and how it's gonna come right back into the community? So, you know, my mom was a librarian. Books are super important to me and my family and my kids. And the fact, and I'm a huge recycler, right? So these are 20, 25, 30 dollar books that are going for a dollar, two dollars. We've raised over two point two million dollars since we've been doing this. And the money goes to literacy programs, tutoring programs, goes to the schools, goes to kids who need it. And in the last couple of years have been rough because I have a I have an eighth grader at home and I know how rough it's actually been. So the money goes directly back into the communities that need it. And so it's a it's a win win. People get their books and the kids get to, you know, get their get their programs back. That's such a great point too with all the virtual learning, having literacy programs, I think now more than ever is so important here in Metro Detroit. So you mentioned that you've already raised, um, I, I think you mentioned that number, Mike, can you, what was that figure again? How much you've already brought in? $2.2 million $2 .2. Wow. over the years we've been doing this and we're still going up and up and these are for selling dollar books, $2 books. That's the amazing thing, it adds up. We're gonna sell you know, hundreds of thousands of books this week and people should come out and like Neil said, every day is a new set of books. So if you don't see something today, you might find it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And my mom's out here volunteering. I just saw my mom, so you should come out and check her out and, and have, she'll help you find a great book uh, here at Bookstock. That's great, it's a family affair over there. And gentlemen, before we let you go, where should people go for more information? And I know this goes through May 22nd, right? Right, uh, through May 22nd, bookstockmi.org will catch you up for everything books end to end here at the mall plus a tent at the dunham's entrance for people who aren't quite ready to come inside a mall yet which we certainly understand um, a few sales along the way check the website again bookstockmi.org it'll get you all set up and it's we'll a, probably see you out here it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun neil rubin and mike morse thank you so much gentlemen for joining us